YouTubers. This is Joe from Art Alien TV and Mars Magazine. And today I've got a, a set of Curiosity images here to show you. And what I've done, I've uploaded this one in colour. Now this has been colourised, this one. Okay. We've got this ridge at the, near the base of Mount Sharp. And we've got some weird stuff on it and around it and in front of it. Okay. And I put clips of some of the things I've found here. There's loads of stuff in here I haven't put up here. And if you check these out yourself, you will find loads of other things, okay? There's tons of stuff. Some really weird-looking rocks that look like reinforced concrete with bits of metal sticking out and bars, crossbars and, and cross-sections and all sorts of weird stuff. I've got this one in colour, and this is more like the original here. The original was actually in black and white like this, okay? This has been brightened up a bit, but I've put the, uh, the enhanced clips in as well on, on this one. Um, but what, the good thing with the black and white one is, it's actually clearer. Um, it's actually easier to see stuff in black and white because the colour, when you colourise these, they go, they go quite muddy. And um, I've done it with this one. I tried not to make it too muddy, but basically this is monochrome anyway, so it's, it's always going to look a bit sort of um, weird. But uh, this is very much like the raw images we get from NASA. They're the, this sort of browny colour. Um, and there's three things in here I'm going to show you. And uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with this because you can check it out yourself. Follow the links below in the description. You can come to these gigapans and check them out in black and white and in colour. And you can also download the original images by clicking on the NASA link at the top here. This will take you to the actual page and you can download them from there, okay? Now the first thing I'm going to show you is this thing. Now we've got this ridge coming right up here. This is quite high, I'd say not stupidly high. This is probably about 30 feet high or something, maybe a bit less, not sure exactly. And it's got, it's got this sort of big mound and it's all kind of collapsed down and broken up. And there's loads of little boulders and, and rocks that will kind of roll down in front. And it's all cracked, weathered and eroded. Okay, Like most of the stuff we see on Mars, it's very old and it's very eroded. And uh, we've got what I think are the remains of a building here. And uh, we've got these sort of slabs and parts that have kind of slid down or rolled down from the top here. And if you come down to here, we've got this thing, just here. Now, if I show you the magnifier, now this has been enhanced a little bit. It's just been brightened up and had a bit of contrast added. But apart from that, this is raw, really. There's no colour added or anything like that. And if you look at this with a magnifier, like the hover zoom magnifier, not only can you see some weird things in the rock behind here, which look a bit like letters. But then we have this thing with a rectangular part here and a sort of crossbar going across here, like a cross shape, but it's got this other sort of diagonal coming across this way and these other parts to it. Very interesting, right? If we zoom in like this, you can see there's a lot of this in the rock. We've got a lot of these kind of crossbars and what looks like wire, very similar to a lot of the things I've shown before in this area. Uh, this is Gale Crater, so this is the Curiosity Rover. This is Sol 3350. Now, in recent videos going back to the end of last year, I showed quite a lot of stuff like this, where you have these broken up rocks, which aren't actually made of rock. A lot of this stuff is actually concrete, reinforced concrete. The reason we're seeing these complex uh, parts in the rock is because it's not normal rock. This, I think, is concrete, and this is part of the aperture that was inside, or is, is inside, and the concrete is eroded away, showing the metal framework inside the concrete, okay? So a lot of these structures even though a lot of these structures are made of rock, and or partly made of rock, or largely made of rock, a lot of them have been modified with concrete, and you can see the actual rebar in the concrete, where the concrete's eroded away, okay? Let's have a look at that in colour. Got it here. Well, this is monochrome, really. It's not proper full colour. Um, but it's probably nearer the real colour. It's probably a bit more yellowy than this, if anything. There it is. You can see that really clearly. Okay, 
you, you can see it in the raw, if you download the raw images, you can see it really clearly. You don't really need to do much to it at all. Um, it helps if you clean up the image a bit, blur it a little tiny bit to get rid of the, um, the distortion and stuff. So I tend to do, and then sharpen it afterwards, so then it kind of brings it out a little bit, a tiny bit of sharpening. There it is. What is it? I don't know. It's part of something, and this seems to have been a structure here that's kind of collapsed, okay? Like most of the things we see in Gale Crater, and also in Jezero Crater, where the other rover is, uh, the new rover, most of this stuff is blown to pieces and collapsed and, and cracked and eroded, so it's not in very good shape. Now, apart from that, we also have, let me show you these on here. We also have this one, just below it, there's another one here. This one here, okay? Now, I've done this with a different filter, more greeny. I find this sort of more greeny filter helps you see stuff clearer. When you use a sort of brown filter like this, it can get pretty muddy, not a ready brown colour like this. Uh, but a greenish filter, apparently, is better for viewing stuff because we can detect more types of green than we can other colors whether that's true or not i'm not sure but that's the the scientific theory anyway um there's that thing i showed you what i'm calling spokes i just called them spokes because that's what they look like but you can see a clear rectangular part there there's the raw clip so you can see even in the raw clip there it's pretty clear and uh all i've done is add a color filter to that okay and there's another one here. This one's just below it. Um, it's not as obvious, not as large, but you can see these weird parts, cross, like a crossbar, like a cross there, and these other broken parts. This may be part of the same thing. And if I show you on here, let's have a look at the black and white one. This is actually a bit clearer than the black and white one. It's just below. We've got that one there, the spoky rock thing. And if you go straight down and to the right, there's the other one with the crossbar just here, okay? Now, you don't get crosses, perfect crosses, in rocks, okay? Um, it just doesn't happen. So, these are not rocks. A lot of this is concrete, okay? And uh, then, over to the right was this thing. Now, this is the first thing I spotted, actually. As I was making the Gigapan, um, this is the first thing. I, I, as I was downloading the images from NASA, the NASA website, um, I spotted this. I thought, oh, look. What have we got here? What do we have here? It looks, it doesn't mean it is, but it's, it looks to me like another exposed burial. And as I've said probably a hundred times before in the last nine years, nine or ten years, um, I think a lot of the uh, burials on Mars weren't in the lying position, but in the sitting position or crouched position. Okay? Because I've shown other burials that were exposed where it looks like they've been propped up in a sitting position and probably back, uh, bound with a cloth, a shroud, and uh, of course the, the shroud would rot away, leaving the, the body. And this one has got a head and what looks like some bone, bony sort of parts here of the body, but it's all kind of broken up and eroded down. You've got this weird sort of flattish rock at the bottom here which may be part of it but we've got some weird sort of fragments here it's actually slightly clearer in black and white let me show you with the magnifier because you can see that head with a big nose and a mouth and a chin it's not that close to the actual rover and it's not that big i think this is only about a foot or so in size maybe two but probably nearer one i would say just this part here okay so this isn't very big um, I don't know exactly how big it is, and it's a bit of an optical trick because the sand here is like a, a like a dune just behind it, right? You can see this dune coming over, and there's another one here, right? And it's just sort of leaning there, and the, the, obviously the sand has moved around, the, the wind's blown it around. There's probably loads of stuff buried in this stuff here in the sand, and then we have this. Now let's look at it in color, okay? This is in monochrome, of course. To sort of a a weird sort of pinky brown colour which I've uh, used here, but um, probably closer to the real colour. And there you can see it. I use the magnifier again. You can see the nose, the mouth, with some de detail in there. Chin here. There's the eye. 
chunky eyebrow. There seems to be something over the top of it, like there was a, this was an encased mummy, possibly in an actual sarcophagus, a small kind of case, perhaps. Because we got this part here as if it was kind of um, encased, like I've shown before, okay? Um, I could be wrong, but that's what it might be. Okay, uh, I've got it up here. There's that thing again. Let me just show you that again. Pretty obvious. Do I really need to point them out? This one goes over that one. There's a little one there. We've got this straight one coming down. There's another diagonal one there. It's almost like part of a wheel. It's not part of a wheel, but it could be part of a window. It could be part of almost any part of a building, really. Um, impossible to say. And we've got these, what look like letters here. Uh, this is all a bit kind of worn away and eroded like everything else. It's really hard to say. They may not be. They, they may actually be parts of the same structure where it's cracked and broken away here. And this is some of the, the rebar showing on this one as well. And this one has got, when you look on the actual uh, gigapan, you can see like these lines going through a lot of this stuff like we've got here. We've got loads of these sort of like weird, what look like bits of wire, okay? And I've shown loads of this stuff before. Um, there's tons of it in this area. And like I've said, and I keep saying, a lot of this is not rock. A lot of this is actual concrete. And I've shown the multi-layers of some of this concrete before in some detail, okay? So um, there we have it, really. That was about it. I mean, um, I've got the other thing here. Let's have a look at this mummy thing, which I think may be a mummy. It may not be. Here's the, the raw clip here in black and white. A bit vague, but you can see you can see all the detail, right? You can see those details in there. The colour one, I don't think is much better. I've used a sort of weird uh, filter on this one to try and brighten it up. Um, but you've got an eyebrow there, a nose, a mouth, the lip detail coming over, and there, the chin. There, seem, there seems to be a, a little bit of teeth detail in there, but it's very vague. There's the eye, of course, there. Um, the head sort of comes up to here, and it may have been wearing a helmet, or this may be, like I said, part of a sarcophagus that's all broken and, and uh, cracked and, and fallen away, okay? So we've got some interesting parts here, which may be bone or something. We've got this thing sticking down here, which may also be part of the body. If it is a body, I don't know. But we've got some interesting details in here that look a bit like ribs that are broken here, okay? Like this is a, a corpse that's um, desiccated and, and rotted away, leaving the bone behind with some of the fleshy skin still intact, perhaps like we see with mummies on Earth, who knows? This is extremely dry here, and this stuff, this material here is is really, really dry, and it's quite high in sulfur. Like I've said before, it preserves things extremely well. It's got quite a high salt content and sulfur content, and acts like a preservative, and is similar to some of the things they used to use to embalm mummies with, which was basically salt, okay? And uh, what that does, it, it removes all the moisture from the body, leaving the bone and skin behind, which then stays preserved for many thousands of years. Okay? And uh, that's what we see on Earth, and that's what I've shown also on Mars. They also have sarcophagi, they also have coffins uh, of various shapes and sizes. Some of them are very small, some of them are very large. They're also probably mummifying cats, like they used to in Egypt. I've shown many cat figurines and uh, carved animals as well in the area. So they were burying things in a similar way, but unlike the, the Egyptians, in this particular case, we have what looks like a sitting mummy of someone's actually sitting here rather than lying down or in an actual long coffin, okay? 
it's in a sitting position and uh, that's what it looks like. So yet another one, more like the Peruvian uh, burials that you find in places like Nazca, which is where the Nazca lines are. A lot of the mummies there were, were wrapped in a shroud with a few items of uh, um, objects that they owned. And then they were wrapped in a sitting position with, with their knees up like this, okay? And their arms around it. But anyway, there we have it. it. There's not a huge amount of fine detail here, but you can see what looks like that head there. And some interesting parts to it here, which are a bit hard to make out. I mean, what's this thing here? Very strange stuff going on here, okay? So if we look at the black and white version here, you can actually see all that a bit clearer, I think. But um, these images are pretty good. These, these uh, enhancements I've done here. And um, you can use the magnifier to look at the rule clip there. And actually, that's pretty good as well. You can see those details in there. So I've, I haven't really done much to this apart from color filter it, really. And uh, you can see all that in there. Okay. So we've got... More concrete or rebar, reinforced concrete that's eroded with loads of complex wires and bits to it like we got here. And we've got another piece here, which is interesting, that's like part of a box or structure or something. And uh, there's loads of this in the area. And um, the more you look at this gigapan, you'll find loads of this stuff. And uh, then we have what could be another sitting mummy. It's broken, it's eroded but the head's still intact and some of the body's still intact. And these may be burial items or parts of the actual coffin or case that it was in, because it seems to have had something round it here. You can actually see the shape of it. So there we are. They weren't buried lying down, as I've said before, and this is yet more evidence to back up those claims, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, please leave a comment if you can. If you can't leave a comment, just leave an emoji because that will count as a comment and that really helps. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.